Okay, here we go. Are you ready for John Boy and Jake Radio? With your hosts, Jake Storielli. The people's idiot. And of course, John Boy, Jimmy O'Brien. Gear up for news. I think I'm ready for this, this big news story. Gear up for sports. Oh, there's so much sports, dude. And enjoy John Boy and Jake Radio. There you go, Jake. The new intro. I'll play the music just quietly. Welcome to John Boy and Jake Radio. Beautiful introduction there from actually I, I don't remember his name he emailed that in just fabulous 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 stuff we got a lot to talk about today rams and chargers are getting hard knocks ufc is getting a private island a bunch of new football jerseys a bunch of new corona stores buying weed in bulk a lot of fun stuff it is april 8th episode number 196 of john boy and jake radio What's going on, Jake? Double intro. I didn't think you'd follow the intro with an intro. I, like I don't know. It's all it's all new. What do you think I do? Yeah, it's a whole new world. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I do you uh you can't cop out with not giving out the email as we do want um the user submitted things to become a thing. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh little Jake heavy, don't love that. But uh, hey, for for first submission, I I like Beckett. I like the production value. No, not Beckett. Yes, Beckett, Beckett, Beckett. Yates is the. Uh, I mean, say his name the right way, Jim. Beckett Yates. One more time, Beckett Yates. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Pills are good. <laughs> Um, um, he emailed that song and I, this is my email response to him, <clears throat> which is fair. I said, that's, aw- uh, that's pretty fun. I'll use it tomorrow. As long as I remember, if I forget, then I'll use it whenever I remember. That's as much as I can promise people. I think it was really kind that's of me. That's as fair as fair could be. That's <laughs> people don't understand the value and the honesty in an email like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Beckett. I do appreciate it. I liked it. I thought it was good. It was great. It was perfect. I think that's right where we want to be. Like, just give us a little production value, but not too, too much. Don't don't try to be special. That's that's a John Boy and Jake signature. Don't try to be special. Don't do it. We got BBD joining in and out. I'm guessing one of our mics is muted for him. He's trying to fix it. It's a fun game to watch him play. It's Jake. Wow, I can't hear Jake. Yeah, I can't hear I can't hear him right now. So well, Still can't win, win, win. As as uh, long as we can all hear each other, I mean, as long as they can hear you and I, we Jake, we're fine. Um, yeah. you guys don't need to hear each other. We're good there. That's an opinion. That's For an now, maybe he will just BBD come and go until he figures line. it out. Happy Wednesday, Jake. Yes, we're here. Hump day, huh? How are you doing on days of the week? You know how like people are like you know, weekends are the scarier than weekdays now. I don't know what to do because because yeah. our our job is interesting. Everyone's job is interesting right now. But yesterday we were done at like noon. Right. And you and I both text you texted me. I was te- going to text you and like, hey, do we have anything to do tonight? <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? And uh, today, I think we're done after this. Well, obviously, I'm going to try to make a ton of breakdowns today. But yesterday, I, I uh, oh, dude, I went outside. We both went outside. Yeah, yesterday was outside day for the for the corp. Oh, some some jerk face on Instagram is trying to make me feel guilty for going outside. People are uh, Corona's bringing out the worst in some people. I think it's the people that are most scared are just assholes online. I mean, a lot of things bring out the worst in people. Um, and I, I mean, something as serious as this. But uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's starting to get a little a little cagey, a little scrappy. Um, 
you know, whether, whether it's Corona or whatever it is, I'll, I, I'll use my example in a second, but yeah, I mean, not, not a lot of people know how to deal with it. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a way to do the social distancing thing and still be able to go outside and still be able to, uh, you know, live a life where you can go outside once a day and not give everybody this, this pandemic virus. Yeah. All the, all the health officials said it. And I think people don't realize what being in an apartment in New York, like I was thinking about if I I just talking with Katie and I wanted to text Luke, like if I was quarantined in my parents' house in Newtown, Connecticut, we had a full wiffle ball field, a pool, ping pong, other kind of pool. Like, and a lot of people are like that. They're in their nice house, in their nice neighborhood with a backyard and a front yard. And like, life ain't that bad. We're in apartments here in New York. If you think I'm not allowed to go outside, you're crazy. And I didn't go outside for five days. So I needed to. And that doesn't even have to be, doesn't even have to be a pool or wiffle ball thing in the backyard. Just a yard. Just, Just to go outside. Um. So yeah, I mean, I I've, I've got the dog, so so nobody can kind of give me guff on that, which is nice. But yeah, I went to the park yesterday. Beautiful day. We did our half lap around the park, dodging the. Oh, and yeah. By the way, if you're not in New York City, shut up. Because if I go one way in Central Park, I walk into a makeshift hospital. So go fuck yourselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh. Yeah. So the one thing that is getting me, I forget if I said it on here or if I was telling Jess that they, oh, I think I mentioned it on here. The nice flowers are blooming and people are taking pictures of them. And it's just like, guys, like you, there's almost, there's not a line to take pictures, but if you're in the park, you see other people doing it and you have to know like, okay, do I really need this picture? If there's a hundred other people that feel like they need this picture, I don't know. Um, um Okay, but interesting, Jake, though, because I went outside yesterday and was shocked at how pretty it was outside. And I took some pictures. I posted one on Instagram. Yeah. Um, Because I didn't realize it was nice out. So I went outside and... And it was 60, like, five degrees out. The first guy I saw was wearing shorts and no shirt. I was like, holy shit. Five days ago, it was like 40 and raining. So I went, we had to do laundry. Um, So I dropped the laundry off. And then I went to get groceries and we had eggs and spinach was on our list. So I can't even find how to get into the grocery store because there's a long line, but the line is six feet in between every person online. So the line's like 10 people long, but that's like a city block. Right. So I had to go way to the end. I was so confused. I finally got there and it was, uh, I was like, now I just need to buy everything, you know? Yeah. No, there's not. Like, really. I'm not just going to get eggs and bacon. Yeah. I got to have to really get just quick hitter like that. No. Um, but then I would told Katie like, Hey, it's really nice out. We should like get out of here and go somewhere. And you got your masks and we got masks. Oh, did you see my mask? Baseball mask from Aunt Francis. Yeah. Except I'm, I have a big head, right? Bigger head sure. and tiny ears. Get that clip, John boy. Get that clip, BBD. So I have a bigger head than Jake. Ah, you said I have a big head. It, it's it's a combo. I don't have, just, a, I have a... I have opposed to your ears. I know where you're yeah. going, but I just so need the, a sound clip. The so ears... Thank you. My ears are too tiny and too small, so like the mass stretches out, and then my ears are going to war, trying to yeah. hold... I, I might... I wish I had it to show you because it's funny because my ears are like pinned back because yeah. they're too small to hold on to the the mask. It's a funny situation. And then I had headphones in. So like my ears went to battle yesterday. Yeah. See, I have the reverse problem. I mean, I've got straight up hooks for ears. My ears go kind of straight east and west off the head. But the mask looks ginormous on my face. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, so I remember I've, ski goggles on your face. It's got to be similar. Yeah, I've been going with my signature glasses and the mask. And I mean, I, I think I, I look like I look like a weird movie character. Oh, um, I kind of really want it. Yeah. Um, may, maybe we could set that up later. We'll see. Maybe that's a halftime thing. 
But uh, yeah, it was good to get out for a little bit. But then there was also that like just little bit of just a little bit of loss. Like what what should I do for the evening? The show Jess wants to watch. We're watching. Um, God, it's something with Reese. You know, you and Jess are big Reese fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little little fires everywhere. Yes, and uh, I mean it's just tough. I, I, don't get me wrong. You know, I I respect both of them as actors and. There's some good storylines and some good jokes at Suburban Moms, but like it's 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 not what I would be watching on a Tuesday night. Uh, just like not even close. You watching sports um, usually? I watched a little bit of the Cal Ripken. Uh, ESPN showed his his beat the streak game last night. Uh, man, Chris Berman was on the call, and he he is a comedy show. I I. I think you would like him because he very much he does let baseball breathe. But at the same time, some of the verbiage and stuff he uses is so ridiculous um, that it's just like, what? Um, and, but so that was fun. But at the same time, and I, I think that's the big push and shove in our house right now is that if I'm putting on a sports game, I put on Cal Ripken's Beat the Street game. It's 1995, which A, why do sports videos from the 90s now look like they're from the 70s? Like, I, I there's genuinely someone at ESPN or somewhere that aged the videos because they <laughs> did not look like that at the time. I think that's how life goes. I think that's the consensus. But, I mean, and and I totally get it. If I put on a baseball game from 1995 that is the same video quality of a baseball game from the 70s, and I'm my girlfriend Jess... I get her perspective. Yeah, I mean that's that, to, to be fair. I think her putting I'm on a brand her side. Yeah, her putting on a brand new show is right. Is a step, a couple steps closer than you telling her you're going to watch a game from the early '90s. I think what we need to do is, I think we need to establish like a full on date night, which I, just get I a mean, second I, TV. I, I we do, we do. Um, and we're, I, that's the problem. Like during the day, she takes the bedroom, I take the living area. Um, and then at night we still, you know, we want to spend some time together and that's good. But I think we need like a, a clear night. Like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna watch our shows together. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's agree on something. Let's bang out Ozark or whatever. And then I think we, uh, we right now we don't have a night like a part. And I think we're too scared to actually play that game because it seems like a dangerous thing. But I, I think we would normally have that in a normal lifestyle. So we'll, we'll see because I, I got to watch some sports. I just need to. Um, and But I totally get not wanting to watch an Orioles game from September of 1995. That is fair. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd, I'd take little fires everywhere over over that game. And I mean, I get it. I get it. I was just, it's, I mean, it's tough. There's some, there's some heavy stuff going on and, you know. With Cal Ripken? With both, with both. Cal and Boomer, you know, we got kids that are scared to tell their parents stuff, all the, all of it. I think you'd like the fire on fire show or whatever. Katie's not interested. I don't know why. So. Some good coming of age stuff in there. You're always a sucker for that. I am. That's true. And Reese is your girl. So, love Reese. It's from Reese's book club. Um, Katie and I finished our show yesterday. We started a new one, and nice. I just, and I got a little further into my other shows. So I'm watching tons of shows. Good stuff Chipping all away. over. I finished your gummies. Good. Had some fun. Katie kicked my fucking ass. In Monopoly deal again last night. Sorry, bro. It's like almost. Okay. I hope she can't hear me. You think getting, she's cooking the deck. No, 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 no. This We were watching a show and playing cards. So the way the card game works is, you know, I get a turn. She gets a turn. I, I do three moves. Then she do three moves. So sure. what happened was I'm getting my ass kicked. So I'd go one, two, three, your turn. And then she's watching the show. So I'd wait. You know, until she realized it was her turn. So I wasn't like, hey, it's your turn every single time. And then the time it got to her turn, she like would think about it, think about it, think about it. 
And then lace up and down. That was just fucking brutal. Like, just yeah. kill me. And it was like, you're not even paying attention. And it's you're called kicking. twisting the knife, dog. And I'm all gung ho over here. Like one, two, three, let's go. Keep the momentum going. And then she just she crushed me. Three games. Just are, you, at- are you still trying to execute your dagger strategy where you win the game on one move? No, 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 no. I, I told you I quit that strategy. You, I, changed I know. It. You said you were getting away from that, but then you said you were going to try it in the four-man game. I listened to you, Jim. Yeah. No, I just we, know we, where I your game I haven't at. played a four-man game, but I didn't have time to do any strategy. I think the cards were in her favor, but she just fucking wow. I mean, say ass. what you really want to say, because I think you're bearing the lead here. No, I don't think she cheated. She just She just had every card. Bullshit. Okay. Why were you looking over your shoulder all nervous? Because she's going to say, that's not, I wasn't taking forever, but she was. Wow. I think she was just twisting the knife. Could have been. She's just casually. Good strategy by her. Casually killing me. Like you have to get, you have to get seven monopolies to win. I don't think I ever had three by the time I lost. She had seven, I had two or none. Bullshit. Um, anything else you want to talk about before we get into the sports? Uh, anything I need to cover? Uh, we talked no, about today's... we talked about masks, but yeah. I tweeted yesterday that in my neighborhood, it's like an eighty percent hit rate with masks. Yeah, yeah. which is like wildly impressive. Some dude, someone got mad at me for that tweet, or like had some shitty, had some like catty remark. I'm like, what are we doing here? Um, it was impressive. I was like, holy smokes, yeah. a lot of masks. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, on that, yeah, we're a uh, mask crew down here. I, I'd say it's probably 80-20 as well, um, which is a good thing. Uh, it's you're, you're definitely the outlier if you're not wearing one, um, and, and do it. It's, uh, I, I don't know, it, it does help a little bit, because there, there was times when I was walking around sans mask or my final days on the subway where it's like, you don't enjoy breathing, <laughs> which is a bad feeling. Yeah. Uh, so, so get your mask on and yeah, man, I, I think we are starting to see people get a little scrappy and it's, it's going to be another tricky time period. Cause I think we're going to start getting new, like good Corona news, maybe by the end of this weekend, like maybe New York, you know, hitting their peak and supposed to be coming down, but people need to understand like, that doesn't mean we've won, um, unrelated to that. And what I saw scrappy was the, uh, the Garrett Cole, Amy Cole video that was going around yesterday with, uh, Amy Cole, Garrett Cole's wife, throwing a little fastball slider combo, uh, which was really nice. And Pitch Ninja did the video. And there was a, uh, uh, a, a female in baseball who they, they like retweeted and they were like, wow, this is getting so many in retweets and likes. Can we not pretend this, like, that women can't throw? And it's like, well, I think people are also retweeting it and liking it because they, they like the video. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just one of those things like you, you know, when you're sending off that tweet that you're like ask like you're putting gasoline on whatever fire and like you're like, yep, there's probably a couple people that might be retweeting it or liking it for the wrong reason. Like maybe even not with this video. She's pregnant and throwing sliders. To um, one of the best pitchers in the world right now who's catching. That's what makes the video. It's not just uh, a, a softball player pitching in the park. We know girls can throw baseballs. There's a lot more going on here. Pregnant, it, quarantine, I mean, boredom. Her husband's one of the best pitchers in the world. It's so. it's the classic case of you think you're defending a situation when you actually are the problem. And it's like... C- come on, people. Let's let's not scrap over something like this during Corona because it's an awesome video. You know what uh, my re- reaction to the video was? What's that? Like, I want to face her. I think she has just enough skill mm. that she would get me sometimes, but also a, just enough where I can maybe connect. I was like, I think that's my lane. Garrett Cole's wife and me, matchup. same skill level. Garrett Cole's wife while pregnant. I don't, when she's not pregnant, yeah, I don't think you can yeah, touch her. Yeah, 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 of course. Of course. Agreed. And same if you were pregnant, to be fair, so. Uh, if I'm pregnant, might be laying down really good buns. Bro, my neck and shoulder act up. 
what happened? My shoulders have been fucked ever yeah, since we did the two up, sessions dude. in a row. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think it was a little bit of that. I don't know if I slept on it wrong. Jess doesn't have the massage gene. Um, I've, I've gotten her to throw some elbows in there and we're getting somewhere. What but, about a, uh, what about walk yeah. on your back? My days are me just stretching on different objects in the house. Like if that, if, if 50 year old men like TikToks, I could make a killer stretching on every object in the house TikTok. Because that's kind of just what my days consist of. I need to do my stretches today. I had two days in a row where I did stretches, push-ups, and lunges. And I didn't do it yesterday. And you said you were going to make an Instagram video of that, is what you told us. No, I didn't. But I did make the Instagram video of the tour of my chair. Not sure if you saw that. I got a I lot of... See that. I got oh, a lot I did of, see that. I told you. Because you talked about we had a really... A pretty cool couple of days there. And I said you left out the chair tour and good content that that's been made. Yeah. I mean, I had, did have three to five people DM me and say, wow, what good content. Yeah. So if you want, Oh, I, I think final, final note before the news, I, I got a good laugh out of Jess, which again, a lot of our days are consisting of, of being with, with the people close in our lives that the first pick challenge was going around the internet. It's the first pick with your dog or your boyfriend or whatever. She put Katie through the ringer. I know. And K- K- I was like, Katie, just don't do it. Like, I wouldn't do yeah. it. Don't do it. No. And Katie, we searched through my phone. What's the first picture we ever took? Katie's like, I don't want to do this, but it's Jess. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, just don't do it, Katie. No. And eventually she didn't do it. But yes, yeah, Katie was mental ringer for like 20 minutes. Like didn't want to be mean to oh, Jess, yeah. but also didn't want to do it at all. No, 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 no. And you can't do it. But uh, that's why <laughs> I got excited um, because I had been sent a picture of. So Jess spent like, yeah, it. our, fir- our first picture is a good one. It's classic. Uh. I don't want to say girl trap because that that's putting it in the wrong light, but she admits it. Like, I, I think it was one of our like maybe third or fourth dates. And she took me to like a friend's, not a bridal party or something. It was at a brewery. A so there's like, I don't think I painted, but like, it was definitely, you don't bring the guy you're not dating. And it was like, Oh, okay. So we do stuff like this now. Um, and whatever, I'm a dog. So there's beer and stuff. Um, so it's a nice picture. So she, you know, did it up. She's, you know, wasted 15 minutes getting like good fonts and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And so she was expecting me to like do the Instagram retweet or whatever. And I had been sent a picture of her, uh, she was a kid. Um, and so I drew a stick figure of myself pretending to watch her from the woods. And I said, this was our first picture together. So just that moment of excitement where she opened it up to see that I retweeted it, like saw the notification and then saw it was a stick figure of me in the woods. And I labeled the picture from 1952. Like there's that just second of where have I gone wrong with my life followed by, okay, that's pretty good. So that was, that was a highlight for me. You put it on Twitter? On the Insta, the Insta sphere. Oh, I thought you said you retweeted it. The Instasphere. There's yeah. like the Instagram retweet. I don't know what the kids call it. Sharing it. Did you did you like the the you can choose three I did of you and posing? I did. I did. Uh, viral. The the internet came for me. But uh, yeah. Do you still have all those pics on your phone? Oh yeah. It's got to be a nice little section of your phone there because that oh. was like thirty pictures. It's a lot of, and I clean up my phone pretty often. Yeah. Because I'm constantly screenshotting things and sending people things. Ooh, picture of you naked with a football over your junk. Just scrolled past that how one. Many, how many photos are on your phone right now? Can you... 2,476. I'm, I'm 3,966. Yeah. I have some old ones on here, man. Can I... Can I do you think it has like... Now sometimes you can be, you can you can search videos by people. Do I have like a your face people and places? There should probably be a Jake Jake face section on your phone. Yeah, I never yeah. know how to get there. I found it. What this what's is it like called? 
Uh, people and places. I can't scroll through this and just show the people and places. There's pictures on here you don't want everyone to see. Okay. Like you when naked. When you say that, like what's going on in those pictures? You naked with a football over your junk, laying on the yeah. bed, posing. We sent that to our gay friend Danny and said, "You like this?" Which uh, yeah. probably, to be fair, they were sending pictures back, and we were having a yeah. We were having a seduce. It was a one up. It was a one up fest. Mm-hmm. But out of context. Picture of us. Uh, this is kind of weird. Picture of us with Rob McElhaney, which I was watching Always Sunny, and I was like, hey, I met him. Dude, Charlie is must be really short. Did I text you? That? How tall does Rob look in that picture? So you and Rob are standing side by side, and I'd say he's got like four inches on you. Level ground. <laughs> four inches? I mean, he's got a hat on. Three inches? Yeah, I'm saying two and a half. I'd put him at 5'9". Okay, yeah. And, I mean, in the in Always Sunny, Charlie is, like, way shorter than him. Yeah. So Charlie might be, like, 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, five, I think it's a game of camera angles, too, and they're also trying to make Charlie look as pathetic as possible. So I, yeah. I think... Um, but yeah, Charlie's probably coming in at a five, five or so. Cause I thought Charlie was our height five, seven, you know? Sure. But then we were pretty similar to Mac and I was watching always sunny. All that. Anyway, you know what, dude, this whole conversation was trying to find the, my photos of all of you posing. And so I went to your specific, Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So many, man. It's nice. It oh, starts nice. off with you and a pizza, which is good. Yeah. It's a good amount of pit. Yeah. Not bad. Um, okay. Let's go to the sports. Yeah, but oh. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. The Rams and the Chargers. You might see them being largers on HBO. Oh, call for my mom. No, thank you. Um, yeah, we might see a split hard knocks this year with the two L.A. teams, Jim. Um and I, I don't know, this wasn't official, but it's leaked pretty officially, so it would seem official. And are we even going to have, um, like, the ability to do hard knocks this year with training camps and stuff? Football going to be really interesting uh, to see how the development of the Corona stuff goes. But yeah, double hard knocks. Why not? Speaking of hard knocks, how about a UFC private fighting island? Sources say <laughs> Dana White has bought an island somewhere and they're going to do fights on it every week. And I mean, again, it's, it's this weird onion real life world that we're living in now. And then uh, a little fun from the, from La League yesterday, the Buccaneers showed their new jerseys kind of nice. They were having a new Jersey launch, whatever Atlanta. They say, Hey, we're going to release some new jerseys of our own on the 14th. The internet leaked some of them, so Atlanta decided to just come out with them this morning. I'm trying to find uh, a graphic I can put up of the new jerseys. Do they have, like, new versus old? So is, is this... Hold on. Open image and new tab. Is this the new jersey, Jake? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so yeah, these are the Bucks New Jerseys, I believe. And I think the only one that's kind of like new, like should be news, is the like gray one. There you those go. don't look anything cool or different to me. No, dude, the NFL jersey game is basically like, what's the least we can change to call it a new jersey? It's just a um, just a just an announcement. And I mean the the ones you're showing, the red one and the white one, like I genuinely couldn't. The NFL when NFL teams change jerseys, 
it's normally one of those what five things have changed in the picture games. Oh, my favorite game at the bar. Yeah. Um, okay. What? So what's the other team then? Division, the Atlanta Falcons. And I thought it was like, I thought it was kind of D-bag crew, but also kind of nice stuff. They like an hour after that, they released like their hype video that they're going to be releasing their new jerseys. And then all the comments under it were just pictures of leaks of their new jerseys. And so this morning, they just, instead of waiting till the 14th when their hype video said they were going to announce it, they just announced them this morning. Do you like these? I, I don't like those. I don't like all white jerseys. No, they were, uh, an all white done right is a pretty badass jersey. These, I feel like the so, youth had to love these. The the big thing on the Atlanta jerseys is they put the ATL across the top, and and I don't think anyone likes those. Uh, the one thing, uh, I think it's the biggest miss. I appreciate them trying. They tried to do the, uh, like a gradient, like it fades into it. Um, I don't think, I don't think that's the an actual jersey. That's uh, weird. What about this one? Yeah, there's the gradient. Um, and so from that picture, I thought that looked kind of cool, right? Like it, it kind of looks like it, it keeps just fading and it, there's something there. At least it's different. Like they tried something. And then when they officially announced it this morning, the gradient one looks pretty awful. Oh, really? Um, but like right there, it looks cool, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that one's fine. I like that. I don't and think like either of these teams, it, neither of these teams have cool uniforms or I've never thought the Bucks or the Falcons ever had a cool logo or uniform. Well, the old school the, Bucks, the old school Bucks were cool. I like the orange? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's an argument for the creamsicle orange for the Bucks. I think the other thing with the Falcons, I mean, jerseys... Certain players and just have a certain like woe factor, and I think the black, white, and red Michael Vick jersey is uh like, I mean outside of the bad guy stuff, that's like a all time. That's a pretty cool jersey, like a quarterback wearing seven Vick, short last name. Like you can imagine it just kind of being. I think, I think that's a a big. Cool. I think that's a big. The player made the jersey, not the jersey. I, I I think yeah I think that's part of what I am saying but I I think it it works there too. Yeah, I'm looking at like old pictures here. I don't know if this one's gonna pop up the way I cropped it, but like this is boring. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, they were getting a lot of uh XFL vibes on their new jerseys, but I think that's like the hot that's the hot comment to say when any team drops a new jersey. I think it's like a a subtle jab, easy joke too. I think um, I made it yeah. once or twice. I think uh I think the foul Yeah, I mean that Vic jersey speaks, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. I think the uh, Saints have an all white jersey that's pretty nice because I think it has some gold accents on it. So it looks kind of papal. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of stuff. Well, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. And they're called the Saints, so Right. Yeah, good call, Jake. Hey, um, what about this UFC Private Island? I love it. I love it. I'll be honest. I mean, it's it's one of the ridiculous things you'll ever read. Do we know where the island is yet? I don't think so. Are they going to want to tell people that? Is it going to be public knowledge? I, I think it like has to be, right? I mean, if there's a private island where we're fighting and people don't know the location, okay, yeah, I'm still very much here for that. I know the rumors were somewhere around California. Um, I have no idea, but I, I think, hey, we're we're living in this time where we're looking for innovation in sports, and it is this really fine line that you and I talked about, and we deep deep dove into on Talking Baseball yesterday that, you know, if leagues can still function, I mean, this is a great time for them to kind of capitalize a little bit um, if they can do it in the right way, and hey, the UFC, man, if they can get this private island, get the fighters in safely and hold a match every Saturday night, like, yeah, uh, I I'm there. It sounds like something from a movie. 
I'm not going to watch yep. it, but I'm going to watch clips of it. I'm more interested in the documentary about acquiring the island and putting on Ooh. the event than the event itself. That's not bad. So, like, once the event happens and I'll find out who wins or whatever happened. Actually, I probably won't. The UFC never comes on my radar. But the documentary about him buying right. a private island in the, is going to be awesome. I'm excited about that. And so what do you think what do you think are the first steps there? Like Dana White gets it in his head, "Hey guys, I think our best option is going to be let's get our own island." So one, like the idea, two, scope out some islands, three, get the island. But I, I think it's one of those funny things that it's, you know, you you hear about the people that report to Elon Musk or, you know, Dana White in this example, um, that, you know, they get these odd jobs and tasks and it, Dana White comes to you and says, hey, look for an island for us to get. Like, are you look, are there, is there an island for sale website? Is there... I mean, I think my first instinct would be reach out to really rich, famous people that have an island and be like, yo, you could save the UFC and see if that makes some, you know, old rich person get really excited. But I don't know. I don't know either. I've never done it. No. I was watching, uh, I Googled like private island. I was watching Pat McAfee reacts to Dana White on his show. Man. So much energy he has nonstop. Yeah. It makes me think, like, are we supposed to be talking like that on this show? I don't think so, because, I mean, you can turn on to Mark Marin and he's, like, a negative person falling asleep, and he has one of the most... I like, like Mark. I like Mark Marin podcast. a lot. I don't listen to his podcast, yeah, but I, I like everything else he's involved in. I watched his stand-up. I, I'm not a giant fan of his podcast. I listen if he has a guest I really like, and I am am in a podcast hole. Um, but, uh, yeah, I listened to his stand, stand up on Netflix this week and it's all right. I mean, it's heavy. I mean, it's Mark Maron. It's, it's heavy politics, um, goes in on religion a little bit. So, I mean, if you're, if you can't handle that stuff, you might have a bad time, but I, I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. Sticker on oh. my head now. Yeah. Back if you show though, a lot of energy. How do high energy people happen? Like the Nick Swishers and the Pat McAfee. Like, do you think there there was some point as a kid where they're like, I just need to be on all the time? Or like, how does that happen? I, I don't know, man. Cause I, I half feel bad for those people. Like Pat, you can right. like, you know, swish, you can like relax. But like, if he likes it, that's how he is. Yeah, It'd be like know. if we did this show every second like this, bro. All right, what's the next topic? Let's hit up halftime. Are you kidding me? An island where we're doing fights every day? Get me on this island. I'm ready to fight. I'll fight on the island. Yeah. I need to be there. I don't care if oh, I'm boy. not allowed. I don't care island. if I'm not fighting. Get me on that island. I'll fucking get a canoe, bro. I'll canoe my way to that island. I'll get some binoculars through the bushes, and I'll watch that UFC, and I'll tell my grandkids I was there. I was on that island. Is that better radio? Is that what I need to my be doing? My heart rate is shot up. Yeah. I'm, is that what I need to be doing nonstop? I, I think people, know. I would hope, that people like that we're just talking. I just threw up a little coffee <laughs> like doing that. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty good. That's what people do. So anyway, let's go to halftime because we need a breather. Whew. Okay. Uh, BBD, wow. I muted you because your mic was loud, but I'm going to unmute you. What did you think of our high of our high T uh, podcasting? Are you okay, BBD? Oh, okay. Okay, he can't hear you. No, he said so. It was, so what he said. What I did was completely out of context for him because he's been coming and going, but he liked it. Okay. Uh, Good. Uh, oh man. Um. Whoa! Big noise. Katie's been making all these thumbnails. You didn't even ask why I'm dressed so nice today. Okay. What the hell? You look great. Um, I honestly thought it was just a continuation of going outside yesterday. Like you saw 
like some good parts of society that would be a normal part of your life that you were like, all right, like today's dress. Up. I think everyone's kind of doing that nowadays. Like everyone has a day where it's like, you know what? I'll shower when I wake up and throw on some nice. Yeah, no, I just thought this will be fun for the show. This is just a show okay. shirt. I'm well, and you're going to take your pictures, right? We already took, already took them, but that was at J Katie was like, oh, I'll take pictures. Katie's making all thumbnails for uh, <clears throat> our YouTube channels because thumbnails actually work. They're, they're better. I, yeah. I avoided them forever, but our last one, the past YouTube channel, which is criminally undersubscribed. Go tell all your friends wow. and and listen to. Last from the past does decent numbers on podcast apps, but on the YouTube it doesn't. Um, but she's been making thumbnails that look great, but they're like oh, these posed pictures of Jake and I. So I just made a bunch, and she put me through like the scream and yell and point. I did yeah. it. So you better bring the heat when you send yours welcome, over. Welcome to a day in my shoes. <sighs> I was one I did. When, when someone says they point that camera on you and they want you to do something, that's a, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. Oh, they can't hear shout you. Out, shout they out to all my fellow models. Uh, apparently, they couldn't hear you, BBD. Maybe I didn't switch it over so your mic was back on. Uh, but I could hear you. I could hear much. you typing and uh, yawning, so I muted your mic earlier. But now you're unmuted. I think they can hear you now. Yeah. That mic that you have in typing, I remember it used to be crazy when I had it. You could just hear it. <laughs> Jake, uh, halftime show. I didn't mention this. Um, you probably aren't. John Prine passed away, which is yeah, like a very sad night for me. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna hop on Talking Folk, the music podcast we have here on John Boy Media that Nick Proach hosts, and just talk about songs and stuff with him. Good. One of my, one of my favorite artists. Sad. The news, like if you go to Twitter Explore page, which sometimes I do, if the other place that we get news is light, um, is brutal like i understand we're going through a pandemic and this is what the news is but it's just like a laundry list of people who are in critical condition or who have died yeah like famous people and then i was like damn so i switched over to sports and then it was just sports figures it's crazy yeah. clicks of the biggest thing going on in the world and the clicks and everything else yeah all right let's go into the second half of the show I read the news today, oh boy, and though the news was rather sad, well, I just had to laugh. Well, it's six o'clock, time for the news. A man with a rucksack full of cannabis told the police I'm buying in bulk due to this lockdown. Criminals are selling blood and saliva from coronavirus survivor. On the dark from a coronavirus survivor on the dark web, a naked burglar tells the deputy he was trying to gather items to survive, and Martin Shkreli is trying to use the coronavirus pandemic to get out of prison. A porn company offers performers equipment to safely shoot porn at home. Louisiana police apologize for using the purge siren to signal coronavirus curfew. And according to my co-host Jake, he himself has been taking rather large poops due to coronavirus. Read the news today, oh boy. Okay, Jake, a lot of news here. A lot of news today. Um, Kind of off the news, and I guess, you know, porn catches my eye, and maybe BBD might have to be our source on this. What's a, what's the my only stuff? Is that is that like porn, or is mm -hmm. that just people posting naked pictures, or is is that porn? Yeah, it's like, a, <clears throat> to like say, you know, you say you. You're a sexual yeah. creature. No, I mean, there's a reason I'm interested in this. Say you wanted to post naked pictures or videos of you pleasuring yourself to people who you knew would enjoy it and not look down upon you. Right. They can pay you like your own personal Patreon page and they're your only right. fans I can get. I think that's what it is. I'm not, this is my guess, just an educated guess. BBD, you're an expert. Yeah. This is your field. What's the full question? Can't hear Jake. Um, what is uh, my only fan? Um, it's usually for... Uh, Does it typically to women to sell their uh, sexually explicit content. Yeah. So could you hear him, Jake? 
No. I don't think the audience can either. It's to sell all, like, sexually explicit content. So you can do it if people... Sexually explicit content. Okay. You interested? And I mean, do those pictures get shared over the rest of the internet like everything else? Because isn't that how things work? I would guess like you're trying to build a circle of trust. But yeah, I think someone can can share it for sure. Yeah. But maybe you can take them down. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think you can get notified if there's yeah, a just, screenshot just a or that, screen recordings. Really and, like BBD says them. you can get notified if people are sharing it. Oh, great. They can hear BBD. Could be now. wrong. Huge. They can hear you now, BBD. Huge. Just Jake and BBD can't hear each other. Hell yeah. Hate this. Hate um, coronavirus. Why? Are you, you really want to get one? I mean, we're trying to do the news here, but this is big news. No, no, no. I just, I, I've seen people that don't do like porn stuff posting it, but I mean, it's just like, it's, it's Instagram models instead of like blurring out the nipple. I'm assuming they're showing the nipple. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so you've been pooping a lot. Is that something you want to talk about? Just big. Just diesel. Probably because you're eating more because you're stuck home. I don't think I'm eating more. Um, I mean, and we're going on a couple weeks. I, I think maybe I'm just know what it know what it might be, Jim. Oh my god. Huge. So yeah. I live in fear of pooping. You know this. Mm -hmm. Um and maybe it's just because I'm not going out more. Like it's not like, hey, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go to work or I'm gonna walk over to Jimmy's or I'm gonna meet people at a bar or whatever. Because normally if I do something like that, I'm probably going to take a number two before I leave. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not leaving for anywhere. So these things are just brewing up. That makes oh a lot of God. sense. Wow. What news is sticking yeah, out for I'm you, Sherpa King? So, yeah, I'm cool now. Grew up in the huge. streets, man. We used to lean over to get our poops out. Uh, the, uh, I don't know, dude, not all of the news sucks. John Moore, Jake radio yeah. used to be really fun, weird news stories that we could dive into. Right. And we would like try to figure out why the criminal was actually doing this or, or was this a setup or, you know, make some fun spin on it. And all the news is Corona related now. So it's just like, I was thinking, I was thinking about past episodes and like how much fun the weird news section. And it's just a fucking bummer now. Like this dude has a, a rucksack full of cannabis and says I'm buying in bulk due to lockdown. Of course, man. I just got gummies in bulk. Like, yeah. Why is this news? Who cares? Do people really care about marijuana anymore? I think it's fake. This is not in the U.S., I think. Nottingham Post. Um, Nottingham sounds like it's in the U.K. The word rucksack, I think, is the headline here. Mm -hmm. Um Man with rock sack of cannabis. Did you ever uh, call it a book bag? Like a backpack, a book bag? Yeah. Um, probably not. I don't think I had any qualm with the book bag people, but I mean, books are kind of something I've disassociated from myself for my entire life. So I, I think I was a pretty big backpack guy. There's some terms I would I said growing up in New Jersey that <clears throat> once we moved just like weren't said other places like book bag was one of them, pocketbook another one, um, big pocketbook guy. Yeah, is that like is I wonder if that's uh, a year thing and New Jersey was just kind of <clears throat> hanging on to these past words or is it regional? Do people still say pocketbook? I, um, I think I think the Storiellis, uh, mostly a uh, Connecticut-based family, are pocketbook people. Yeah. So when I moved to like Illinois and California, they had no idea what that was. Mm. Like no idea. Supermarket. That's not. That was another one. Then that like they could figure that one out, but they didn't call it that. Grocery store is what they called it. Sure. Um. But the, yeah, book bag because rucksack. You've heard that, but no one honestly says rucksack. We might have to look at a colloquialism expert on JJR one day because that's that I would put that in your top five favorite topics of things. Regional words? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Accents, regional words. I watch that documentary, American Tongues, a lot. So it's awesome. Ask them and invite them on. Maybe that's maybe that's the next JJR move. Guests. Start having guests. 
Cool. Colloquialism expert? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of quizzes and stuff. Like I always take those sure. <clears throat> like Firefly or um, Lightning Bug. Right. The one that's weird is when it rains and the sun is shining. There's so many different terms for that. Sun shower is what I call it. But like the South has some like the devil's pissing, something like that. Sure. Yes. But this is a topic that I love and I, I like, I think about, or I, whenever it comes across me, I dive in. Ooh. Uh, and I think it, it has oh, to be because it has to be because I moved so much and you say something and then everyone in school is like, what? You're like, yeah. oh, you don't say that here? Interesting. It's a bookmark. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so I don't care about the guy who's buying weed in bulk. I don't even understand why that's news. Um, criminals are selling blood and saliva from a coronavirus survivor on the dark web. Now, I got to think the survivor's the one that's like selling this. What can you gain from this? From a survivor, are they trying to like use it to do good? Selling blood and saliva from coronavirus. I think there's there's a rumor out there that like... If you have corona and, you know, your body makes up the white blood cells or the antibodies and stuff, that that's how you combat it. So if you can get those in your system, that then your body can can naturally defend itself from the corona. I think that's what. Yeah. What's the on. what's the word for here? Um, like, you know, um, how you how you treat chicken box and stuff. There's a term you you give a little bit. To people when they're, I mean, it's it's like uh, it's like when you get a shot. It's the a vaccine. It, yeah, it, it's it's yeah. a vaccine. So this person, a natural vaccine. He's a seller on the dark web. He got corona, and he is now offering to sell his blood to people so they can try to use it as a vaccine. Um, I don't know. What are you gonna try and police the dark web? Good luck. How do you think we got every episode of baggage ever? We're fucking yeah. theft, thefts. Come get us, Fuzz. <laughs> I don't know, man. Would you buy it? It's like $1,000. I'm not going to buy Corona blood for $1,000. I'll tell you that. I mean, that's my thing. How, uh... Like, I'm not... It's his blood or saliva. Um. So, I mean, am I supposed to, like, inject someone else's blood and saliva into me? I mean, that's just not a good time for me to be completely honest. I mean, what if this leads to the quickest cure and like, you know, some prestigious doctor sees this, buys it. Does the dark web guy still go to jail? Yeah, because I don't think that's how anything works. I mean, I think these doctors have access to Corona blood and uh, saliva if they want it. Um, I don't think that's the problem. Um, so, yeah. Okay, well... Good for that guy, and hopefully it does good for the world. Bad for that guy if it does bad for the world. I agree with you. I'm full. It's a yeah, result full situation. Good. We can't yeah. judge this story yet. Playing the result. Uh, the next story on here is that a naked burglar tells deputies he was trying to gather items to survive. Now, I have a problem with Tommy Campbell, the editor and publisher of this story at the RogersVillageReview.com because they put... Well, okay, they put the quotes. He was trying to gather items to survive. They put that in quotes as if it's crazy. The dude was naked. Like, why are we Why are we acting like that's... He says he was trying to gather quotes. He was trying to gather items to survive. Well, of course he was. He was naked. There's no... That's, yeah. not, a, that's not like a lie. You know what I mean? Or to be treated as if it's an excuse... And that everyone was going to die. Okay, so there's the uh, buried lead there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, again, this is a headline situation. If 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 the headline was, you know, a crazy man breaks into home, um, you know, I, I think we've all we all kind of get that story when, when it's a naked burglar, it's an instant click. So I, I get what Tommy Campbell's going for here. Where's uh where's Rogersville, huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking up this dude, Timothy, Joey Anderson, horrible name. Joey has a middle name really doesn't play. 
Yeah. Timothy, Timothy Joey Anderson. Brutal formatting of that name. Joey Timothy Ant. Whatever. You know, you got to switch it up. So, Jim, yeah, I, I've got a big problem for you, which Ooh. might throw this whole thing off. Okay. His name's not Timothy. Oh, it's Timothy. It's Timothy Joey. So, okay. I mean, that only helps my point further. Do you want to see what he looks like? Timothy. Do you want to see what he looks like? like. Sure. Why not? Here he is. And I just need your honest opinion about all of it. I mean, my hair was kind of doing the same thing this morning, so I'm not going to shame him on that. Uh, The facial hair, it looks like he's put more time into it than the result turned out to be, um, which that's a little problematic. It seems like that left eye is starting to give up on the, the good fight. It seems beaten here, you know, but it is a mugshot. Oh, it looks like he's kidnapped before. Yeah, I like that. No, I mean, but you know, this is a, uh, this is, you got to take name and your kids seriously. <clears throat> Timothy <clears throat> Joey. Timothy Joey is a brutal name. <clears throat> so I've, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Would you, would you rather be named Timothy Joey Anderson or would you rather <clears throat> be named Anderson Anderson? <clears throat> Anderson Anderson. Because if you right? have a sense of humor, you can win that battle. Andy Anderson. Like Tim yeah. Timothy is a name. Tim Timmons is an umpire. They call me AA because I can't stop. Drinking. Well, that's you wouldn't say that when you're. I don't know. Andy Anderson. If he was an alcoholic. Timothy? Timothy. Bad name. Uh, porn companies are offering equipment to safely shoot at home. Makes sense. Everyone's working from home. Why would porn stars not be doing the same? You know? You know who's winning this? All those porn stars that are couples? That like, you know, like... Yeah. That are upstart, that they just always do... They sleep with each other in different ways and change the headline to say they're brother and sister and then change the headline to say they're like stepdad, whatever, but it's really their married yeah. couple. They're huge. They're winning this pandemic. Yeah, the step family porn thing. I mean, that's... If there's a documentary on that, let me know because I, I don't get it. Um, I had a uh, Jakey Shower thought. Can you play the Jakey Shower question of the day um, sound effect? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I used to know all these buttons by uh i don't know what this one is i'm gonna put the head god damn it hurt me deep inside it just hurt me deep inside it's that i'm not thinking okay. i'm never thinking Here i heard you were giving out free money those are the options well i think it's the i'm not thinking i'm never thinking because i i was thinking my shower thoughts um so there's been a lot of talk about the corona babies right um, that are going to come from this. I think we're starting to see a lot of Corona couples come from this, that maybe this is going to be harsh and maybe this is you and I'm sorry. I think we've got a couple Corona couples out there that have been forced into dating because they were hooking up like right when the coronavirus <laughs> stuff started kicking off. And then you kind of have this fight or flight moment where you don't know how long this thing's going to last. So your decision in front of you is like, okay, do I keep the door open to have sex for the next six months? Or do I, or, or do I slam the door shut? Coach, and I think, I, think, I think most people left that door open. Is Coach, that fair? Yeah, Coach Ballgame just joined on Periscope just to hear you sure. say, like, no context <clears throat> the, yeah. with that line. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I was reading a Reddit thread, and it was asking about, are there any couples here that, like had broken up, but still living together or were about to break up. And now you're right. stuck together. And there was a bunch and uh, it was like an interesting thread, but yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's bonded people. There's a miles Teller movie where it's called like two night stand where he hooks up with a girl, on one night stand. And then there's a blizzard and they get snowed in and they're stuck together. But yeah, there's gotta be a lot of like, what about like a couch surfer just going around who sleeps on people's couches and whoever house you're at, 
now you're probably dating someone that lives there. That's how life works. I mean, a, a couch surfer might be kind of encouraged right now because it's like, well, hey, I mean, entertain me or something. If you hate the couch surfer, then you kick them out and you say, like, good luck. Um, but no, I, I so my my question that arose from this is um, because I'd say in a lot of these uh, Corona couples, there's one person that's taking the cheese, right? There's one person that's like falling head over heels. Corona brought us together. This is our sign. And then the other person is like, well, you know, better than not having butt. Um, so would you rather go like six months? And again, like jump, jump back into, because a lot of these people are probably, you know, 22, 23. Hey, BBD, how you doing? Um, and they're doing the like, you know, uh, so would you rather basically go without sex or any chance of sex for six months? Or would you rather basically have sex every day for six months and then have your heart broken in the end? I, I was choosing the former even before you said the heartbroken stuff. So you, so 23 year old Jimmy. Would oh, rather I not, forgot 23 so, year old. Yeah. You go and in right now, I think you'd still be, you'd still pick sex every day over not sex every day. Every day, Jake. It doesn't have, okay. It doesn't have to be every day, but regularly. How about I'll say regularly, whatever your preferred sex schedule is. Yeah, John boy. Not everyone is an every day like you. Uh, yeah. I do the everyday part. 23 year old right. me went six months rather easily right but it's it, it's the whole corona it's everything um so i i don't know i think that's uh you're the worst person in the world to ask that question too but uh the the listeners like it and you're all welcome thank you i did great i am a bad person to ask that question too yeah because you I, lied at first then you got it right and then we couldn't even uh, go back to the original question no no you phrased it as every day i was taking it literally um, as, as Ploof that question, he's high T he's high T with you. He'll join you. SMH. Actually, he's low T. Isn't he diagnosed as low T? Oh, he acts high T. I think he said he was actually low T, but he's high T. I don't think he said that. And I doubt if he did, he'd want you saying that on here. So there's that. I think he said it on a show. We were counting out. he said at the end of an episode. <laughs> He did, because we were saying, let's make a list of all the low-T guys. And he was like, I mean, I am. I think he was Josh. And <laughs> um, I don't think so. Anyway, BBD. Is this Martin Shkreli's story good? Did you read it? I uh, didn't read it, but I thought it could lead into a slightly bigger discussion. We can push it to tomorrow, because we're kind of there. Oh, we're there, yeah. Uh, Martin Shkreli is kind of a jerk face. So Remember when he was popular? Now he's just in jail. I don't know who this is. Pharma bro, the dude who went to jail because he bought medicine and then upped the prices like a thousand percent. Oh, he was the guy that juiced the price. Okay, sure. Yeah. Was he liked? No, but he would like he would do live streams and he had an audience. He went on part of my take a couple times. It's like uh, famous. Yeah, infamous, I guess. Yeah. I think Big Cat said. Like, um, Big Cat said that PFT, like, actually, like, fucking hated him and didn't want him to have him on a guest or something like that at one point. That's He's a bad up. guy. Yeah. Bad guy. So I guess he wants to get out of jail for all of this. I don't get it. We can save it. We can keep going. Uh, no, no bet of the day. Fucking, did we figure anything out how to fix, finish this? I mean, I, I, the people were saying they wanted you to do your push-ups on Instagram and make an over-under, but... Set it at, like... I did 10, then I did 20, then I did 30. I'm just increasing by 10 every time, I every day. 30's pretty good. I'm just doing very slow integration. That's the way to do it. Yeah, stuck inside all day. I only have so much room. Should we like bet on tweets? Should we like craft up like if get, get give me something to tweet and what do you think the over under would be on it? All right. Do you think Darren Ravel's going to have to delete a tweet that he posts today? Ooh. Over under how many 
tweets is Ravel going to tweet out then delete because he's uh, out of touch with normal society and a weirdo. This is tricky because in my head I was going to initially be like, no, Ravel has to figure it out. Like, you know, he's he's been on a bad heater lately. But then again, I'm thinking about it and like quarantine Ravel has got to be a nightmare. So I think I would bet on him having to delete a tweet today. Okay. I don't follow him because I think he's very bad. Um, right. So someone be on the lookout. I'm getting the over. I think he's going to have to delete a tweet today as well. I was going to say, like, you tell me something, this tweet. We agree on an over-under on how many likes it'll get, and then that's the bet of the day. Okay. Why don't you tweet out a picture of your big shit? And I'm gonna take the put the over under at 25 likes, and I'm gonna take the no, under. No, uh, can't, be, can't be tweeting out shit pics. Um, okay, I have the under on that officially. That's tough. Um, and by the way, I would go way over. Um, but uh, can't tweet shit pics. That's a firm rule. They've been icebergen, poking out of the water a little bit. Oh, icebergen and sticking. I mean, double. Both on both sides, man. I Thanks was filming. I was filming a wedding once, and I was in the bathroom, and there was this dude in the stall by himself, and it just smelled like a baby's diaper. And someone yeah. walked in, and and you know, I was at the urinal, and some guy was walked in, and the guy was in the stall. Well, no one knew each other or who who anyone was. Sure. And, and the guy that walked in goes, "Holy smokes!" And the yeah. guy in the stall goes, oh, yeah, bro, iceberg in the bad in here. <laughs> <laughs> Just dying. If you, and and maybe this is where I, I want to appropriate bro culture a little bit. If you say a bro and a funny term, you can get yourself out of almost any situation. Yeah, like you got to drop it sparingly. That situation just went from like, oh my God, there's a guy at a wedding, like literally ruining the bathroom to he neutralized the whole situation. Just be like, bro, I've got, a, I've got something going on over here. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah. And that's full circle this episode with how to send emails. Like, just be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If anyone wants to send in another uh, jingle or opening to the show, as long as you're not being a dickhead about it, I'll probably use it uh, as soon as I remember. And I may forget to use it. And I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. All right. What's the, we'll, we'll play the other song. We need bed of the day back. All right. That's the end of the show. Thanks for listening. We appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>